show you guys how to make this super cute Pikachu tail phone case cover. It is made out of craft foam and tail part is 3D and these um, the black and the brown are uh, made out of duct tape and I have this on my iPhone 6 and this is my lock screen picture. I thought it was just so cute and so perfect. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this. I currently have it just kind of sitting on top of a clear-ish uh, phone case that I got from the dollar store. And I made, put um, double-sided tape to stick it on instead of using something more permanent like E6000 or glue uh, because I did want to be able to make it um, removable at some point if I ever decide to change my mind and change the color cover for something else but if you have a lot of you know extra phone cases that you have lying around that you don't really like the design of anymore and you just want to cover it up with something new this is a really cool idea so let's get started on this tutorial you will need sheets of craft foam preferably the slightly thicker ones you will need it in yellow if you are making Pikachu a thin phone case either in the same color as the craft foam or just a clear phone case. You will also need some sort of glue, such as hot glue, foam glue, or even super glue or E6000. In this case, I am using double-sided tape because I want the cover to be semi-permanent. You will also need scissors or a cutting tool, a pencil, and a extra fine point sharpie. And this is optional, but you can use duct tape for Pikachu's black-tipped ears and also the brown stripes and the brown bit for his tail instead of craft foam. But this is what I will be using for the tutorial. And finally, the most important part of this project is the template. So I made the template by tracing around the case for my phone and I made sure to trace around the camera hole as well. And then I separately drew on the ears, the tail, and the stripes. Now I do have a link in the description box uh, for a PDF file that I made of this template, um, but I do apologize because it is very messy. So I don't recommend using that full template. Instead, I have also included the template I have used for the ears, the tail, and the stripes. And I suggest that you print those out separately and resize them so that they fit well uh, with the size of your phone and of your phone case. So here I have a little clip to kind of show you what I mean. Uh, so first you want to trace your case and just make sure you remember to also trace out the camera hole. So then what you want to do is print out your resized templates for the ears, the stripes, and the tail. Um, and then just kind of piece it together uh, by putting the pieces in their appropriate places and tracing it out um, so that you make one full template from the pieces. I, I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, I know I'm just showing you tra me tracing out the ears, um, but you won't have that giant template underneath the ears. You're just going to be taking the ears and tracing them um, on the corners, on the top corners of the uh, phone case template. And then here I am just tracing the tail um, in the appropriate spot. You can just eyeball it, but do follow my template as kind of a guide to where and how you should position each of the pieces. So now that you have your template, it is finally time to use it and trace it out onto the craft foam. And I forgot to do it here, but just remember to cut out the camera hole on the template before you start tracing and that just makes it a lot easier or a bit easier uh, so I had to just go back and cut out the hole um, and then retrace and then cut it out from the craft foam. I am also making two copies of this template and that is only because my craft foam was really flimsy and thin so I decided to uh, have two layers. But if your craft foam is sturdy and thick enough, then feel free to skip the step where I trace out the second uh, template. Now, if you are doing, if you do have thin foam and you are tracing it twice, my suggestion is to flip the template instead of just moving it over. That way you have two mirror images of each other and the camera holes should be on 
opposite sides. Uh, this way, when you kind of sandwich the two pieces together, you are um, making sure that the pencil markings are both facing inwards and that the outside is the clean side. Also make sure that you are tracing one copy of just the tail piece. Now go ahead and cut out all the pieces. And once you've cut everything out, this is what it should look like. Now I had to stack my two layers on top of each other um, because I had two layers, but if you only needed one layer because you had thicker foam, then this is what you should have right now. However, if you did have two pieces, now is the time to glue them together. And I am just using the foam glue, so I'm just spreading it out and sandwiching the pieces together. And here I am just trimming it up a bit. If you do have two pieces, you might have to do this step just to make it look a little bit nicer. And if you did use foam glue, leave it to dry for a bit uh, before gluing on the tail. Now, if you need to wait for the body pieces to dry, you can move on to making the accent pieces. So what I'm doing is taking a extra fine tip Sharpie and tracing out uh, the pieces onto parchment paper. So make sure to trace out the tips of the tips of the ears, the bottom of the tail, and the two brown stripes that are kind of behind the tail. And just remember to trace two sets of the ears since you are taping both the front and the back. Now once you have the pieces all traced, just cover it with duct tape and cut it out using a pair of scissors. One tip I have is to just try and cut it out slightly bigger than what you traced. Um, this way, if the piece is too big, you can just trim it down, but you won't run into the problem of it being too small. Once it's all cut out, just peel off the brown tail piece and stick that on first. So now it's time to glue on the tail. So first, I am going to take my template and use a pencil to trace over the tail, um, pressing hard. And I'm going to trace it again, except this time I'm going to place it face down and trace it onto the foam so that some of the lines transfer. And you just want kind of a outline, a faint outline, so that you know where to glue your tail. And then just glue it on. Here I am using foam glue again. So now I'm just trimming down the brown stripes and I'm just going to stick them down. I'm going to do the same with the uh, ear tips of the ears, except first I'm going to stick them down and then I'm going to trim. Once everything is stuck down and trimmed, you should have something that looks like this. Now it's time to attach the foam cover to the actual foam case. So to do that, you can use a hot glue gun, you can use E6000, but I have decided to use double-sided tape. Um, this is because I would want to remove it one day um, just to switch out the covers. So to make it semi-permanent, I am using double-sided tape. Just peel off the tape, press the foam cover onto the case, and then you are all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, comment down below if you have any ideas for any other videos or crafts or tutorials you would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Bye!